Now, uh, email. Email's been pouring in from everyone all over the globe. You loved the elephant last week. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> mm. uh, oh, but what a treat for you we have this week. Uh, uh, quite a few people sent it. Uh, so, here you go. It shows what can go wrong if you try to light your own emissions. <laughs> You're keen now, aren't you? <laughs> oh, all right, where is it? Okay, here goes. That's it. All starts happily. Okay, very funny. I'm going to light it. I'm going to light it. Very, very funny. I'm going to light it. Going to light it. Ooh, trying, trying very hard. Ooh, trying a bit too hard. <laughs> cleaner in the land. <laughs> uh, you don't want to see that again, do you? Uh, see, now, how? How could that man have known his bottom would explode like that? <laughs> well, he might have done had he consulted my next guest, Mother of Sylvester and Queen of Astrology in her own right, it's Jacqueline Stallone! <laughs> Oh dear. You made an effort, and that's good. And so did you, I can oh. say, as well. Yo, you look fantastic. Very, very good. Thank you. The for world it. of shiny. Because <laughs> now, I, I was talking to Glenn Jackson in the first half, of course, all about Oscars and things. Correct. She is two, and now Sly has Stallone. Oh, no, Sly has Stallone, Correct. that's his name. Uh, <laughs> Sly, Sly has three. He's got Correct. three. Now, I was reading, because you're very involved in astrology, mm -hmm. we're going to talk a lot that's about that. That's all I know. Um, but Except now, this. Taurians win more awards than anyone else. Are you a Taurus? No, no I'm not you're a Taurus. an Aries. I'm an Aries. Taurus win more awards than anyone. Well, they probably are more tenacious. They don't go quit until they win. Really? I think so. And did you predict that Sylvester was going to win Oscars? I did five years before. When he couldn't read, he got F in spelling, he was physically unfit, he flunked Jim. He said, you're going to tell me I'm going to write and be successful, a movie star? I said, you are, and he is. Well, he He's is. thrown out of 17 schools, got straight Fs and everything, and his teachers, where are they today? And where is he? What does that say about schools? Teachers don't become famous. <laughs> Just teachers. Or they don't recognize talent. That's, That's true. what it is. Yeah, but a mother recognizes talent. That's yes, good. Have yeah. Now the thing is, have. before Sylvester, before anything, your life, Jacqueline, was extraordinary. In fairness, wasn't it? You, you grew up very, Correct. very rich family. Correct. At age fifteen, you ran away to join the circus. Correct. It's true. That's true. Yeah. No. And what did I you do at the circus? Trapeze. I still do. <laughs> I, we'd like to see that. <laughs> but then, now your first husband. Don't want to dwell on him. But uh, he, he was uh, an Italian Born monk in who lived in, in the mountains of Sicily. He should have stayed there, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in fairness, now, he, he's an Italian monk who, who lived in, in the mountains of Sicily. Correct. And Taking care of sheep. Mm. And his family, one by one, migrated to the, uh, America. And unfortunately, they brought him along. And I, he was very quiet and mysterious. And my father used to say, go for the quiet men. They were refined. I didn't realize this was an ignorant man. And then I married him. After I, he learned to speak English, I realized this is a stupid man. I have to get rid of him. Is he still around? In oh, yes. Do they ever die? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not one of these lucky ones that get a nice, clean divorce. I haven't gotten a fall off a cliff or go back home or something like that. I have to buy them all oh, or shoot my way out. I do. But of course, having been stuff and you know, things like going to the Oscars, you've met so many famous people. I think I've met everybody. Oh, you have. You have. Uh, who, who have we got you here with in a little photo album? Uh, there you are with... Kato Kalem. Kato, 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 Kato my wedding. Kato Kalem at your wedding. And as excited as I am to meet you, yeah. I don't think I am quite as excited as Oprah Winfrey looks here. <laughs> How about Fergie? <laughs> Was Fergie in here? Yes. Where's Fergie? Oh, hang on, hang on. We have it here, we have it here. Jacqueline Stallone. 
with Fergie. There she is. In Saudi Arabia. Well, now, is it true that you've, you've read kind of charts for all these people? All of them, regularly. Really? Yes. So, with Fergie, yeah. did you kind of give her a call and say, ooh, very no, bad? I liked her. No, I liked her. She has a million dollar personality. She obviously bought it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I see her in a different light. I don't see her as a princess. I see her, you know, as a different person. Yeah, we never really saw her as a princess either. <laughs> well, I told her she'd go back to Andrew, and she will. Do you think she... Certainly. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I, I know, because I've, I've heard other people saying that. So it'll be interesting to see, see if it happens. Three years ago. Yeah. Because, of course, your astrology career is huge. Correct. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, my God favorite bit, my next. favorite bit in Star Power is what? this bit. Star power, rumpology. <laughs> well, that's very real. Mm. Also she... known, also known as Fannygram. <laughs> which I, I thought was something you sent to a stag night. <laughs> but apparently it means something else in America. Uh, now, tell me, rumpology... What does it mean in England? <laughs> I mean, what well, are you sitting on? What do you call it? What I'm sitting on? Yeah. It's a chair. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I had to say that. You had to say that. No, no. Uh, basically, a fanny in this country is a bottom. It's just not the back bottom. Well, what part is it? It's the front bottom. You have a front bottom? Ladies well, do. we don't have a front bottom in there. <laughs> behind. Our behind's in the back. You can tell me yours is in the front. It can't happen. No, ladies have a... Ladies have a what? Ladies... <laughs> ladies have a what? Well, it does look that's the same. Funny. It's there. That's the well, fanny. Well, let's change it. <laughs> if you want us to call our arses fanny, <laughs> well, how about calling them behinds or rumps? What would you call it? I, I, we, we call it we'll call it whatever you like. An ass? Whatever you like. We'll call it an ass. ass. <laughs> that's what you do. We'll call it an <laughs> ass. That's but something. <laughs> call it something. Yeah. We, we love rumpology. And uh, it's the art of reading the future yes. in people's bums. Yeah. The only thing you can take with you, you never leave it home, do you? No. You can leave an arm home, a leg home. You ever see anyone walking around with that? They're behind. No, and I've looked. Look at all the cliches. Wouldn't you say it's the most... Look at the cliches about the behind. All he does is sit on his ass all day. Why don't he get off his ass or up his ass or up like his ass? Like the queen? Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's... Well, she's... Look at hers. Yeah. You know what I mean? And basically, you do, you do sort of prints of, of the rumps. Well, yes, we do, and I do, and quite a few others. But now, listen, the thing is, Jacqueline, when our audience heard uh, about, you know, the whole rumpology mm -hmm. thing, they went mad. They couldn't <laughs> wait to send you a fanigram of their own. <laughs> so what we did is we set up some photocopiers on the way into the studio. Really? No, we did. And if you, if, you don't, if you don't believe me that the audience were up for this, uh, we I have a little see video thing. A little... <laughs> <laughs> so you, know, you, you have what? What? Oh, also, just a little bit. Here they are. Where? Here they are. Look, if you just look on there, you can see What them. is that? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Wait, this is so cool. And... <laughs> is that <Hey>! you? <laughs> <laughs> and we have film of all of you. Well, the ones stand up thrilling? and identify their behinds. I know. But listen, Jacqueline, let's go and do some readings now as we play Backsides to the Future. Come over with you, Richard. We're getting the time. Good. I'm in love with it. Now, uh, we have some of the audience ones here. This is totally unrehearsed, I can assure you. No, it is. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now... Where's Robin Hargreaves? Would he stand up and uh, identify himself? <laughs> There's Robin! How, how wonderful! That takes courage. For her, I've never seen one like that, Robin. What's he sitting on? A you, ribbon? Is that, is that cellophane or something? Are you wrapping a ribbon glass, or something? Yeah. Oh, they put cling film down for hygiene. That's <laughs> nice. Isn't it? I thought maybe he's tied in a bow. But smooth as the, smooth as the proverbial babies. Yes. I'm saying stroking that for no good reason. 
Uh, so now, what can we tell looks, about Robin's future? It looks like she's been sitting on it doing nothing lately. Look at it. It has, says nothing. <laughs> well, Are you saying Robin's going to die on the way home? I'm not saying I'm going to die. I'm going to say that he's got to get some life. Fair what enough. You're the astrologer. Uh, here we go. Oh, my God. What's in there? <laughs> 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 Jason Parr. Where's Jason? Where's Jason Parr? Jason looks like a banker, doesn't he? <laughs> looks like he saves every dime. Look at him, doesn't he? Look at the lopsidedness on his behind. Does that mean anything that one side's yes, bigger than the yes, other? Yes, it is. What, what does it mean? It means he's a little bit ch cheap. <laughs> a miser. No. Is that are true, do you think? Just a nod? Are you, are you a bit careful with the pennies? Or cautious? Cautious. Cautious. And we can reveal it has only one bollock. Um, <laughs> okay. I think these are beautiful, really. Taurus. Talk about mystery. And this, this one, Mark, I feel sorry because you can't read this one effectively. Uh, we're going to have to redo well, maybe Mark. Come, Where's Mark? Mark, would you come down? Mark, come this, down and, and redo it here, again. please. I have a photo. Please welcome to uh, Mark Hodgson. So if you'd like to just step up, step up here, uh, I, I probably, you're probably better on that step. And if you just want to do your business, <laughs> oh, you're all right. Nurses, the screens, please. <laughs> <laughs> I guessed as much. Uh, right, there we go. Tight, tight around, look away, avert your eyes, Lady Stallone. Okay, so sit down properly. Okay. Be out in a sec, it. hang on. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, I'm gonna press it now. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, it's emerging. It's emerging. <laughs> it's a boy. Well, there's these up up there. Well, I'm gonna move the screens. I look at that. Now, you stay there. You stay there. Listen, we're very, 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 very short of time. I'm very impressed Quick, with this. Quickly, mark. quickly now. Mark took a lot of courage for Taurus to get up and do this. <laughs> Are you going to frame this? Are you married, Mark? No. This would be very nice <laughs> frame and give to your mother for Christmas. Jacqueline, I'm not an astrologer, but I think I knew the answer to that question. <laughs> but now, is that a photocopying flaw? Oh, yes. No, it's an That's jewellery, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> There's a ring down there. Is something going on, Jacqueline? With the ring in? Yeah. <laughs> I told you it was creative, but I didn't that. <laughs> I never saw that before. But there's a first time for everything. <laughs> uh, well done to, to Mark Hudson. No, no, no. Mark, no, would you no. like to frame this to give to your friend for Christmas? That's lovely. It's a lovely gift. I mean, you'll never see another one like it. But I have you to say... You'll never see another one like it. In our backside... I know backside, you're trying to steal it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's yours, it's yours. Yeah. But in our backside <laughs> to the future competition, I'm going to declare you, Mark, our winner. And here's your prize. A case of champagne courtesy of Bottoms Up. Look, there it is. Mark, <laughs> As a special treat for all the bottoms that took part tonight, we've been played out by the flying buttocks of the jockstrap Cossacks. Here they are. <laughs> I'm never going to do this joke. Good night. Bye-bye.